here we are at the epicenter of bullshit and nonsense. <laughs> Tourist galore. Mostly puzzled. Had a pile of roped toddlers <laughs> with their toddler handler screeching no pictures. And <laughs> bystanders that appeared to have cameras. No, nah, don't worry, I don't want to get photos of your toddlers. So yeah, this crappily laid brick, this the little red strip, that's your freedom trail. Here's the Park Street Congregational Church. We're on Park Street. And there's just some new thing. The David Sargent Hall of what? Some god awful. Oh, it's a law school. Suffolk University. And here's ancient graveyards. I think Ben Franklin might be in there. You can see that downtown Boston pretty well sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, they gave Ben an obelisk. Yikes. There in the middle. I think that's new. Celia, I hope you appreciate this. This is already god awful and nauseating. <laughs> There's some more fake tricorns. The Tsar version of fake Romans. But we have a painter. All kinds of important people. Figuring out ways to be important is a major Boston pastime. <laughs> uh. Okay. All the poor paid service shills that have to explain this place to idiots. <laughs> Stream on Temple. Endless noise and traffic this high volume canyon. Another little graveyard over here. Boy, Suffolk University has really imposed itself. <laughs> Not another ambitious bullshit thing with a fat footprint. One can just imagine all the wheeling and dealing that gave us all this. Aren't we lucky? I think George Washington snoozed there or something. And we're further following the trail of freedom. And more dead powdered wig people. drawing and credulous looks from bystanders who aren't used to old stuff. The King's Chapel burial ground with more important skeletons, more important people. Layers and layers of importance, I tell you. And now, 
we have what's really important, commerce. This is Faneuil Hall, Quincy Market, where the admonitions to get you to buy useless shit are piled high and deep. It's probably one of the more attractive, popular attractions a city has anywhere. It speaks volumes of the American mindset for a bunch of smucks attracted by stupid gigas and opportunities to buy useless things, preferably with a credit card so that debt will balloon forward. And here's Boston City Hall, a wildly derided thing. Jim Kunstler's worst nightmare. And something that some wags have called the packing crate for Faneuil Hall. This thing used to be the Parker House, but in the modern environment of selling to the highest bidder, it's now a Starbucks. So there's not much reason to attend to it. I'll hit Faneuil Hall some other time. The steaming kettle, indeed, has become a steaming corporate heap. Corporate Uber Alice in all corporate all the time. And Dunkin' Donuts is cheek by jowl with the thing, so we have the local corporate choice. <laughs> God, modern America is such a debased, disgusting thing. <laughs> so there it is in its squalid gigantitude, sort of falling apart, and it's going to be expensive to fix. We've lost the thread of the Freedom Trail, but we'll no doubt restore it. Looks like we have all kinds of ridiculous bullshit going on here. No idea what. But it looks like it's imbued with importance. So yeah, there's some big corporate spectacle, the Mayor's Cup, and uh, TD Bank North is involved, and it's very busy and very important. <laughs> so, with that in mind, I'm so out of here. Let's see if we can find a less sucky situation over by the North End. So I guess the essence of tourism is convincing lots of idiots that shit like this is actually worthwhile. <laughs> okay. Well, is that really? Yeah, I've made it past the importance cluster, and there's some more horrible, soul-destroying buildings from the 60s. So this sculpture caught my eye, whatever the heck it is. like a bizarre monster from Star Wars trying too hard
big yikes <laughs> emerges from me. Now, my plan is to get over to Charlestown, maybe get a few photos of the Constitution for good old Isabel. I have amazing Google Plus friends. I'm mainly trying to accommodate the curiosity about the little city of town I live in. Now, I lost the thread of the Freedom Trail, but it's buried under all that corporate spectacle bullshit back there. I bet if I come around this way, I'll find a bit of it again. Some of it was clearly going to go down to Faneuil Hall, but I wanted none of that. There's always another tape for that little icon. Instead, we'll cover the waterfall. There's the main Boston police headquarters. This kind of thing Sauron would feel at home in. And we're up along the backside of the JFK Federal Building. Give me the, the, the fax number. Karin, give me wrong fax number. 